Well, hello there, amazing teachers. Thank you for joining in. Today's tutorial is going to um, look at interactive calendars and how you can utilize that inside of your classroom with your kids. Um, a lot of teachers are asking, is anyone using a calendar? How do you use a calendar when you're online? Well, I created this interactive calendar to show you how many teachers are using the digital calendars to help with teaching about the calendar. Now, myself personally, I do a live calendar and then we get on together and do the interactive calendar. And then the next step after that is myself um, assigning the same interactive calendar at least once or twice a week for the kids to do on their own. So let's get started. So here we have uh, my interactive calendar. As you see, I've made a number of pages. Now the great thing about creating your own interactive calendar or going on and buying an interactive calendar is that you can still customize it to how um, you are teaching your calendar in your classroom. So that means that you can still change out the Bitmoji if it has a Bitmoji or um, certain elements or even add slides. So as you can see, I begin with the month. Everything is drag and drop. So they would grab the month and you're doing this together. So you say today's month is, um, of course they would say September, October, August, um, or November, whatever that month is. Then you will grab this little star and place it on the date saying that it's the fourth and these actual numbers are movable. So you will recreate your calendar and shift around the numbers at the end of the month. The next slide is what is the weather? So they will definitely go through what the weather is for that day and it's summertime so that one's pretty easy you will just slide over or the kids will slide over the sun next of course every calendar says what is today what is yesterday what is tomorrow so of course if we say today is tuesday then yesterday was monday and tomorrow is wednesday wednesday okay very easy, same thing like you would do live. What is the year? Is the year 2023? No. Is the year 2022? No. The year is actually 2020. And then after that, they will say the entire date for today, or you will model and say it, and they will echo you, okay? Next, we have the season. So of course, I have it where you can actually click on a link. You can sing the season song first and then you can go in because they love this little season song and another one that I play and uh, of course we know that it is the summertime right and that's great next you will talk about what is the number for today some people like to say what is our day in school and then they will find the tens and the ones and the hundreds well I personally like to create a different number because I don't want to wait until months from now just to get on 20 days or 30 days because they really need to learn about their place value with higher numbers or double digits much sooner than that. So what I do is I choose a number for today and if it's 27, they will grab their 10, 6, 10, 20, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and 27 is the number, and count to 100. There's a little video here. Click the link, sing it, and then say it. Okay, next, our days in school until we reach 100, okay? So, now I normally stop at the 100th day, because 100 days in school, that's where I stop. Some people like to actually go farther than that and actually have a different setup where they can just type in each number all right so they might just have three cubes and they just type in the number but for me we just go to 100 so we'll say oh today's the first day of school then tomorrow oh tomorrow's the second day we've been in school for two days okay so you're just grabbing the frame and placing it on the number next slide is just counting by fives 
5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and I actually like to actually point at it while they're counting so they can visually see. And there's also a five song that you can play. Same thing with counting by tens, 10, 20, 30, 40. You can also find a little 10 song to play along with that as well. And the very last slide is our how many slide. How many days are in this month? They would actually type that in. How many days are in this month? It is September, so there's 30 days in the month. And then how many days are in a week? And the kids should know how to do this. If you're using Seesaw, they should know how to type in, okay? Seven, how many days are in a month? You can place this on Seesaw and then have them write on Seesaw or they should definitely know how to type in. So maybe you could take a lesson showing them how to click that text box like I have. It's not very hard um, for the kids to do. Um, how many months are in one year? So they would say 12. This is what they would do on their own and you can do it together as well. Okay, how many hours in one day? Many people don't talk about this, but there's 24 hours in a day. And how many minutes are in a hour? And you would say 60 minutes in an hour in an hour. And then you can actually add another one, how many seconds are in a minute. Okay, so that I kind of went through fairly quickly, but uh, this is what you would actually do slide to slide. Again, we do it together. I do a live calendar together. We dance live and then we go through and do the interactive one together and then I assign it as an assignment. So this was just a little visual to let you see how to do or what an interactive calendar looks like. Hope you enjoyed and you can also download this off of the Dill Purple Geniuses Teachers Pay Teachers um, store if you are using Teachers Pay Teachers and off of our website at dillpurplegeniuses.com on our store so you can buy this in two places as well. Goodbye.